embrace the normal after new because you know what? New is sexy. We all love new. The new car, the new house, the new bag, the new everything. Think about that new car. It's got that new car smell. You're like, mm, it smells so good in here. You're taking pictures with your car. You're driving with your car. Everything's meticulous in your car. You can't eat my car. You can't drink in my car. You can't breathe in my car. You can't talk in my car. You can't do nothing in my car. I got plastic on the seats. Did you spill something in my car? Like you will go ballistic right. if anything goes wrong with your car. You treat that car like it's your number one, like it's your first love. And then all of a sudden, weeks go down, go by, months go by, and then all that newness and all the stuff that you were all consumed with becomes like no big deal anymore. That car just becomes a bill. It just becomes a vehicle to take you from point A to, to point B. It's a responsibility. It's a responsibility. Yes. You and gotta so, keep it clean. You gotta pay the bill. You, there, you, you gotta maintain it. Yes. Right? So there's a sense of normalcy that comes after new and sometimes when we were talking about the five hidden addictions of an affair, some people are addicted to new. Mm -hmm. And so once something is no longer new, they put it in a corner somewhere, they don't value it and they're off to the the next yep. well in order for you to have a healthy friendship you've got to realize that yes that in love feeling that infatuation stage that lasts for about two years and it slowly begins to wither and wane and then normalcy comes in mm -hmm. and normalcy isn't bad because normalcy means that there's stability there's expectations there's things that you can rely upon and you've got to learn how to develop a relationship in the normal mm -hmm. it's called the new the new norm right mm. the new norm and when you embrace the new norm and embrace what you have and be full of thanksgiving and gratitude instead of talking about what you don't have and what you ain't gonna get all of that your mindset your attitude really has a lot to do with the friendship that you develop with your spouse